Working with Wendy Whalen is a daily inspiration. It's interesting because Wendy doesn't credit herself as a, an improviser or as a choreographer. And yet, <laughs> when you make work in the studio with Wendy, she has an unbelievable, masterful sense of time and it comes through her gesture, her impulse, her reaction. And so anything that I present and throw to her comes back. In making work with her, I feel my sense of time has been stretched. And I trust now in ways that I didn't trust before, a broader range of time options. I mean, it seems so simple and yet the the, the time and distance that one can take to complete a movement, those decisions become the choreography. And so with, with Wendy, we've entered a very unique kind of situation with how we react to each other. I've been bent, I've been bent off my norm. Wendy and I were looking at all the things we wanted to say as artists, um, also artists in our 40s. The project seemed broader than we could contain in one hour or less. So some of a thousand words became the title and um, started to really work for us because it seemed like the show would be some of the things we could say and some of the things we wanted to say. And it started to really make sense with our history. This project is an expansion of the work with Brooklyn Ryder, the string quartet, and with my dancing with Wendy Brown. <laughs> Brooklyn Rider is a string quartet and we take our name in part from the Blue Rider group which was uh, an artistic collective active in Munich about a hundred years ago. I think it's appropriate that we love working with collaborators from other disciplines. It's an incredibly diverse group of composers, but somehow they feel like they fit together and form this nice flow of, of an evening's program. There's just this incredible added energy um, when all the forces come together and you get something that is neither just dance or just music, but a new, beautiful coming together of worlds. I'm finding myself working with just very, very simple nouns of, of challenge, um, joy, excitement. And they all kind of go back to youth. They all kind of take me back to when I was a kid. Brian was actually the first person I actually chose to work with and worked with. I was an older ballerina at New York City Ballet. I was there for 30 years. And um, I had a certain regimen, a certain work ethic, a certain behavior. And to be given this new opportunity and this new life, and, well, actually giving it to myself at this age was a renaissance. And it revitalized me, really challenged me, and has brought me a lot of joy and renewal for the love of why I do what I do. <laughs> with Brian was like being in a desert and being offered water. <laughs> and since she walks in the studio, I feel like it's the first day. I mean, there's still so much excitement from her. You know, the question is often, what else can we try? I think that that wanting to learn, that challenging um, of myself keeps me younger. The depth of what we 
have discovered. So far, I don't think even touches the depth of what we'll discover in the future. Thank you.